Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to complete a series of tasks for quality of service on Agnos devices. The task is as follows. Shape the uplink traffic of R1 toward R3 to average bitrate of 500 kilobit per second. Okay, let's take a look at the topology here and see what we have. Rather, one is for a client, and what I'm trying to do is to send some traffic from there to the other customer branch on the other side. Rather, two is a service provider, and we are trying to send uh, the customer traffic through our network, but we are going to make sure that it is not going to go beyond 500 kilobit per second. But if it goes, we are not going to drop it. We are just trying to see if we have enough uh, time slots, or let's say empty time slots, or maybe not so full time slots that we can just put the traffic extra traffic from brother one into that. So 500 is going to be the guaranteed one. CIR is going to be 500. And we are trying to say that, okay, so now that we have this CIR, maybe we want to, you know, give the customer a little bit of an advantage and, and send some more traffic to uh, user on that. So let's do this. The first thing that I'm going to do is to apply a shaper. Now, what is a shaper? A shaper is going to uh, change the traffic in this way. Let's say that I have, um, let me just start my pen, okay? So let's say that I have this chart for the traffic, and this is 500 kilobit per second per task requirements. And this means that user is going to send up to this limit. And then user starts sending the traffic. Now what is going to happen if user goes beyond 500 kilobit per second and then goes beyond 500 kilobit per second, something like that, because user is not going to use full bandwidth all the time. What we are trying to say is this. We are going to say, okay, I'm not going to drop this part of the traffic. What I'm going to do is to buffer it, and then I'm going to see whether there is an empty time slot for the customer, or maybe time slots that are not completely full. For example, this part, as you can see, this is not completely full, and user has not used its full bandwidth. What I'm going to do is to you know, send this extra traffic that I have buffered it before in this part. Again, there are extra traffic here. I'm going to buffer it and I'm going to send it in this part. So the result is going to be something like this. So if this is a chart and this is 500 kilobit per second and that's the limit, the traffic is going to be something like this. It's going to go up and it's going to be like that and sometimes below that and sometimes below that, something like this, which is a very steady and nice traffic pattern in our case. So we're going to do the same thing for uh, the customer that we have here, router one on router two. I'm going to apply the shaper on this interface, 152. And previously I had a polyester, which I'm going to remove it and I apply the shaper here. So let's just start the configuration on router two. So what I'm going to do is to connect to router two first and go to configuration mode. Uh, before going to configuration mode, I'm going to say show run uh, the interface XE 4.152. You can see that there is a quality of service policer before, which I'm going to remove it. XE 4.152. I'm going to say no policy map, uh, service policy comes, uh, and I'm just removing this. Okay, let's now create the shaper. In this case, I don't really care about the type of traffic. All type of traffic are going to be included in this shaper. So I'm going to, I'm not going to create any kind of a class map. So I'm going to say policy map. And this policy map is not of type QoS. It is of type QE. And for that, I'm going to say the name is shaper. Okay. So, or let's say shape. That's a better name for that. And under this, again, I'm going to go with class default. And you can see that this is a class default queue, not class default as a matter of fact, and hit enter. And then under this, we have this option for shaping the traffic. You can see that I can shape all type of traffic, but let's say in this case, I'm just going to make sure that 
every packet that comes is going to be included. So I'm going to say shape and you can see again we have the percentage and we have the average, average bitmap uh, bitrate. It starts from 469 kilobits per second. In my case, the task says 500 kilobits per second. So I'm going to say 500 kilobits per second. And then I'm going to hit enter. I don't need to do any other type of configuration right now, but you can see that under this queuing, we have some capabilities that we can just do. For example, we can create a priority queue and assign some traffic to that. We can make sure that the queue limit is uh, applied here. Let's say, for example, um, how much of the queue limits I want to have, the queue depth, as a matter of fact. Uh, I can say random detect in case uh, my queue is kind of full. This is going to be uh, applied. And then some other tasks that can be done under here, but shaping for now is the most important one. And also we have weighted fair queue in here as a matter of fact. So now let's go to that interface and apply it. So I'm going to say interface XE4.152. And then I'm going to say service policy but the type now is of type queuing and I'm applying this output. As you can see, queuing cannot, cannot be applied input. It can only be applied output. And then the name is going to be shape. And then hit enter, nothing more than that. Now, if I need to create, a, if I need to enable some of the hardware profiles, I can, but right now I just want to commit and if there is something necessary, the error messages are going to tell me. So everything is done before. I don't really need to do anything more than that. And then I'm going to say end and save the configuration. So let's say that I'm going to say show policy map uh, interface. And I can say, of course, policy map type queuing because this one uh, specifically is going to be of type queuing for interface. Yeah, this is just policy map type queuing. That's going to be enough. You can see that it says shape to 500 kilobit per second. And the rest, of course, is going to be weighted very cute. And the number of queues, as you can see, are eight. This says from queue zero up to seven. I have not enabled any priority queue, so you don't see anything specific about that. And then if I just say, so show policy map. And after that, I have statistics for type queuing. And then I can just hit enter. That is going to give me uh, the number of bytes. But this one is going to be important for me. I could go with a specific interface, but this one is important for me. Okay, so... I'm going to check this. Let's check go to router one and initiate some kind of a traffic. And here I'm, tr I cannot really create a huge kind of traffic here, but I'm just going to try to be as, uh, be my best, be the best I could just do it. So let's say that I'm going to go with 1000 and this is going to be 0.2. This is the least amount that I can just give it to uh, for 100 kilobits per second, 400 uh, bytes. As a matter of fact, for this timeout, it's going to be zero. And then I'm going to say yes for this. Source interface or IP address is going to be 1111. The rest, of course, are going to be no. And this is starting the traffic. And let's go to router two and check this one. As you can see, for now, it says 2858. And if I just run this command one more time, you can see that now this is increasing. And of course, uh, you are seeing the statistics here. And it just goes up and up here. What I'm trying to say is run this command one more time. It just says what we have on that interface. So for this show policy map interface xe4.152 and after that I can say type queuing this is going to tell me that how much of the traffic has passed and like I said because I have not reached to that amount of traffic you can see it says that 
the queue limit is this size, but all the traffic, because I could not reach to that 500 kilobit per second with a simple ping, all the traffic has passed. I have not received any drops and uh, everything is just working just fine. Okay, so uh, this is how you create a shaper and apply it to an interface. I hope this has been informative for you and see you in next videos.